Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. Last time I showed you this mechanism that I made, um, basically, which is going to go, a pair of them are going to go in the forearm of my Iron Man suit to open the arms up just like in the movie where the machine puts the suit onto Tony. So I now have a pair of these printed, which I've printed in what is apparently silver ABS plastic on my Lulzbot A0101 3D printer. Um, it looks rather grey to me, um, so there's a pair of these that latch down and then I've attached between them this bar that you push which releases both of them. So this piece fits inside the forearm. It also has the hinges for the elbow to go to the bicep. And I've made a hole in my suit there. This is basically um, white plastic with grey primer, so I've done a bit of clean up there which is why there's some white, but essentially that grey thing is the lever which when these are fixed in properly and you push the lever and that should release both sides and then the top of the suit piece here and will flip up um, these have catches so they latch down in place and then basically uh, it's much better when they're fixed in they, uh, they latch down in place and then there'll be some foam held in the suit in these pieces that clamp your arm into place so I want to glue this in, but first of all I'm going to paint these pieces in the correct colour, which is of course red. So I've got a bit of clean up to do, um, I need to put some more primer on and give them a couple of coats of paint. Alright, so I've thrown some paint at it, um, it's not too bad. I've now got the mechanism fitted, so that springs out and should clip back into place. So now I just need to glue the top on um, and then that's it really, we just need the foam and it should be ready to wear. Right, here it is, I've got both halves together, I've got the mechanism attached to both of them. If I push the lever inside, up it pops. So there's the bar that you press, which opens it. As I said before, there's still lots of space in here where we could put um, a servo or a small solenoid to pull the bar to make it electronically activated. Um, for now it's manual. So all we need to do is stick some foam in there so it actually grips my arm. I'm not going to do that until I've done the bicep piece, so I've got that piece just here, which is still in grey paint, uh, grey primer. So at the moment there's kind of this makeshift thing which is made of some, uh, it's kind of a fibre board which I need to tear out basically and make a 3D printed hinge. So that part fits neatly on there. And I also need to make um, some sort of button piece to go on the outside, which I'll probably also 3D print. Um, and once this whole arm fits me properly, and I can sort out exactly where the pieces are placed, and how they hinge together, then I'll sort out the foam in here, which is going to support the whole arm. There we go. So, let's have a look at some CAD for the elbow hinge. So here's my design in Autodesk 123D. I've got some interesting angles there, um, and I shall print those out and the reasons for those angles will become apparent when I attach them to the bicep. Okay, so I've printed those parts and I've now attached them to the bicep as a test fit, so just unclip that. So I've got a pair of them which are obviously opposites. Just clean the top surface off with a file there. We've got um, a couple of interesting angles there, so they fit perfectly to the rather strange shape of the bottom of the bicep. So let me just clip that back on. Um, so there's the pair of them. And that should align perfectly with the pieces I left in there. So, um, it looks pretty good. I basically need to paint this bicep up and then I need to 
glue those in and they've, I've left pilot holes in them where I'm going to put a screw surrounded by washers which will fit exactly into there. So that's the end of this video. Next time hopefully I'll have the bicep uh, painted up. I need to do the other arm as well. So far I've only done one forearm. So next time I'll be coming back to put both arms together um, and then we can go back to the hands and sort out the, uh, the hand plate cover and also the shoulder bell. So I'll just give this one more go for your enjoyment. And there we go. See you next time.